Hello, Douglas County. It's Thursday, November 4th, 2021. And I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County and the Public Information Officer for the Fire Department. Welcome to today's edition of COVID-19 Update with Dr. Janet Meemark, District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. Hey, Rick, thanks for having me today. Sure, absolutely our pleasure. Where are we with the numbers in Douglas County and what can you tell us about hospitalizations? Yeah, so with the cold weather, we have some pretty good news this time. So I'm really excited to share that. Um, for case counts, we're at 122 cases per 100,000 for Douglas County. Now remember, um, anything over 100 cases per 100,000 is considered high transmission. So we are getting closer and closer to the going below um, high transmission. Uh, the other thing is, is our positive percentage rate. So those are the number of tests that are coming back positive. That's 4.4%. And the threshold for that is 5%. So we're doing really well on that. And one of the final indicators that we look at is hospitalizations. And so today's hospitalization numbers for COVID-19 at Douglas Hospital is finally um, one of the lowest that we've seen for the for this surge. So I'm really excited. I hope to keep seeing that go down. But finally, we are seeing some movement um, in, in all of these indicators showing that we're, we're finally um, putting a rest, I hope, to this um, surge. Man, great news. Thank you so much. Let's talk about vaccinations. What are the numbers for Douglas County residents who are vaccinated and what are we seeing nationally? Yeah, so for Douglas County, we're seeing 45% um, that have um, both um, vaccines and are fully vaccinated. 50% have received at least one vaccine. What we're seeing nationally is something higher than that, though. We've had 58% that had um, are fully vaccinated and 67% with one vaccine. You know why this is important is that you know having the community coverage and, and closer to herd immunity um, really helps to protect a lot of us in, in terms of transmission and in terms of hospitalization. So remember this Delta surge, the one thing that marks the difference with the Delta surge um, is that it really went after people that were unvaccinated. You know, it is a, a living thing too. And so it needs to find ways to survive. And the way it survived was going to unvaccinated people. So when you have areas that have more unvaccinated people, the more people that are going to get sick. And so unfortunately we saw that, but Fortunately, we are on the downside of that. And we're seeing a trend gradually and slowly increase of people getting vaccinated there, right? Yeah, very slowly, but hopefully we're going to make a, a big dent in that coming up soon. <laughs> That's super. Well, I understand that children 5 to 11 are not eligible for the vaccine. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so we're really excited this week. Um, the final portion of approvals for the children's um, Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine has been completed, and that's with the CDC um, approving it. And so we received our, um, our vaccines and are in the process of rolling everything out right now. What I'm really excited about for this vaccine, first of all, is that it is a big portion of the population that was unprotected from COVID. Now, yes, most of them had only mild symptoms, but some of them had very serious symptoms like that multi-inflammatory system. And the other thing is many times they, they are able to pass it along to their parents and their grandparents. And so they are excellent vectors for being able to transmit COVID-19. So I'm very excited because the, the studies um, are showing that the vaccine is extremely safe. It's as safe as the adult vaccine. Now, you might be, if you, if you um, have, um, you're the mother or father of a, of a boy, an adolescent boy, you might have been worried about that heart inflammation, the myocarditis that was cited um, with the, the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine. Well, the great thing is, is in the trials that they've done in these children, they had no cases of heart inflammation that um, could be attributed to the vaccine. So that is fantastic news. Um, because, you know, even, you know, I have an 11 year old and, you know, I'm going to get him vaccinated, but I was a little tiny bit nervous about that. Right. So, and, you know, they think it might have to do with like their age and the kind of hormonal time that they're in. 
and the fact that it's only one third the dose of an adult dose. So once a child turns 12, they'll have to get the full adult dose. So this is only one third and it's shown to be 91% effective. And so I just think that is some great news overall and it will be free to everybody. And um, you will be able to look at our website, our Douglas County um, Health Department will be ready um, no later than tomorrow. And then we will have our partners also vaccinating and the school system is also going to be vaccinating. So we're very excited of uh, having um, this availability. Great. Looking forward to it. Let's talk about boosters now. Cobb and Douglas Public Health is offering the Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson boosters. What do we need to know? Okay. So um, if you're wondering um, about those boosters, it can get a little bit confusing, but most people will be eligible to get the booster. And I'll explain to you why. It's recommended that anybody that is, first of all, over 65, and you completed your, um, your series of your Moderna or your Pfizer six months ago, you are eligible to get a booster, okay? So they've been showing, especially in older folks, that your immunity will go down over time. So you should get boosted up. If you live in a nursing home, you should get boosted. If you have any chronic medical conditions, which include obesity, diabetes, hypertension, kidney disease, um, lung disease, any of those, uh, you should get boosted. And then the last category, which is huge, is anybody basically who is in a higher risk situation. So if you work with people out in the open, so you're not at home all the time and not interacting with folks, then you're probably safe. But for the rest of us, you're probably going to need a booster. So six months out from your Moderna and Pfizer um, series, you're eligible for a booster. Now, the second thing is, um, if you got Johnson & Johnson, you only got that one dose, anybody over 18 should get the booster two months after that shot. So that shot needs a little bit more um, um, of a closer time period to get the booster. So go ahead and get that one. The last piece of information for those of you that felt locked in by your decision, you don't have to feel that way anymore. You can get any vaccine that you want. You can mix and match them. So if you got Pfizer the first time, the first two, and you said, oh, I'm seeing good things about Moderna, I want to get Moderna, you can do that. If you got Moderna and you said, oh, you know, my friend said that Pfizer is better and you wish you got Pfizer, well, go ahead and get Pfizer. You can Johnson & Johnson, same thing. So you have that ability and flexibility to go ahead and do that. Dr. Meemark, is there anything else you would like to say to the residents of Douglas County? Well, you know, coming off these surges, I think is hard for all of us. And so we have the holidays that are coming up and, you know, some of you may be wondering, do we have another um, variant or mutant that's on the way? Um, you know, some of you have heard of the Delta Plus variant and um, we do have some of that in the United States, but it has not taken hold the way it has in the UK as of yet but we are watching that, all right? Um, we have holidays coming up, and so the best way to protect your families and be able to, to hug and spend time together is to get vaccinated. And I know some of you may be thinking, well, you know, I already got COVID and, you know, that I have immunity. Well, you will have some immunity, but you don't know how long that's gonna last. It can be anywhere from 90 days to over a year. But we do know that the vaccine immunity is being shown to have five times more protection than the people who had regular COVID. COVID immunity. So please protect your family and your friends and, and get vaccinated. They're extremely safe and people are doing really well. Wow. Man, I really appreciate the time you've spent with us and giving us this extremely valuable information. Thank you so much. For Dr. Janet Meemark of Cobb and Douglas Public Health, I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much.